All right, so to talk more about the independent movie business, we will be connected with the maker of Arthur Malediction, Bethlehemy Grossman. Hello. Hi, Barge. Hello. Hi. Hi, okay, you? there you go. So, um, again, welcome, and it's a, a pleasure to have you here. So, we're going to jump into your first um, question. Okay, Barge, now, can you tell us uh, more about the story making process? for Arthur Malediction from his actually early concept to the final stage, as we can see. So actually, it's, um, it's um, a, a, a spin-off oh, of right. the first movies, which uh, Luke uh, uh, wrote it and directed. Mm -hmm. And um, he had the idea to do that spin-off. And then he called me and he, he asked me if I wanted to, to direct them, mm -hmm. uh, the, the movie, actually. And uh, I liked really the script. I liked the ID because it's very original, I think, to, to uh, have a, a famous franchise like uh, Arthur uh, uh, and the Minimoys and to, to do a spin-off in a, in a horror way, which is yeah. interesting because the, the, the kids who watch the movie when they, when, um, 10 or 15 years ago, now they're older and they, uh, they're in the good age to watch a, a horror version, you know? Of so, yeah, it was really great to do it and... Uh, and I was happy to work with, uh, with Luc Besson. Yes, certainly are. Now, um, is it okay um, if we want to know more about the production cost of the movie itself, Barge? How Sorry? much was it? How Again? much was the production cost? Oh, it was... Oh, it was... Uh, uh, I don't know exactly, but it was, uh, I think, uh, 2.5 million euros. Right. So it's uh, it's not a big budget for these kind of movies, right. but it was enough to do what we have to tell uh, the, for, for 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 the story, mm -hmm. and uh, also the there are only young actors which we never saw before, or uh, in a, in a movie that was also great to to work with uh, young people and to discover people, you know. Of course, okay. Now um, we want to know more about the challenges in uh, the producing the movie itself and especially during the global um, crisis can you tell us more about the obstacles or the challenges yeah so it, it, it was a challenge to, to 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 shoot the movie when everybody actually uh, stopped filming right. but that challenge became also the the strength of the movie because uh the the, the everybody was like excited to to shoot the movie we were all uh, locked together mm -hmm. um, uh, in one place where we did the movie and uh, at the end it gives energies and uh, things which I think you never maybe we never gonna leave again or not so soon I hope but it was a, an experience you know for everybody to, to be uh, in that situation and uh, I think it's also the 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 courage and the the, the 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 quality of Luc Besson to do things in another way that old people are doing, right. and I, I appreciate that really. Now you did mention about opportunities. We want to know more about the opportunities. What opportunities will movie makers experience when actually they release movies abroad? It's you know doing a movie today. It's all. It's always very difficult. It's always uh, a, a challenge. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, it, it, it's um, when somebody calls you and proposes you a movie uh, as a director. It's like a, a gift he makes to you. So right. for me, it was a, a challenge to to be uh, uh, enough good that 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 he, he the the producer is happy and and that the movie is traveling and and that's for me. It's a joy today to. To, to propose you a, a film uh, in another country with uh, other culture, uh, uh, we, 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 people going to discover it with uh, another vision also about life and everything, and that's that's great. That's the, the good part of directing is when when you, your product is uh, is traveling. Of course. Now, which has more um, potentials in, in your point of um, you know in, in your thoughts, releasing movies in the commercials or just in digital platform, and why is that? I think today it's the question is the, is it you don't care actually where your movie is going to be seen. I think the most important is that a lot of people can discover your film because sometimes you, you, as a director, of course, you want that your film is on theater release. But if 
only uh, uh, a few people can see it, uh, it's not really interesting. What is interesting is you do a movie for people, so people uh, choose how they're going to watch it, and sometimes it's not possible on, on theater because it's uh, it's uh, the business is, is is made in a certain way. Um, I, I think it's just a, a huge luck when your film can be seen by people because you do it for people. Yes. So so uh, if they watch it on on, on TV on the, today you have big TVs, mm -hmm. uh, home cinema. So I, actually, I, I just want to to show what, what my work to people. That's the most important for me. And we can't wait to see or to watch it. Now, if, you know, Indonesia people here in Indonesia, we want to see um, the Arthur Malediction, where can we actually see it, Arj? I think you can see it on, on Twitter, yes? On Twitter, okay. So we will be... No, on, on theater. On theater, okay, the theater, okay. So on the theater itself. But we want to know more about, you know, your project. Um, in the future, I mean, you've done with um, you're done with the Arthur Malediction. Obviously, you have a more projects that are um, you know soon to be released. Um, what are they, and when will they yeah. be released? Uh, actually, I, I just finished my uh, uh, future film, which is very personal, which is called um, Only to the Top which I uh, have uh, written also on direct. Mm -hmm. And it's a movie about a, a painter, uh, a story about an artist who wants to create in, in, uh, in to today in our world, which is complicated when you want to stay uh, uh, close to who you are and don't want to play the game necessarily of uh, how the society is uh, playing it. So yeah, this film is like I'm editing now, finishing the post-production and normally uh, I hope for next year, the release. And uh, many other projects which I'm reading, writing, and uh, and uh, yeah, so but the, the, but that's the the most important one. Good to know. All right then. So that was um, Bethlehemy Grossman. He is the maker of Arthur of Arthur Malediction itself. So Barge, thank you so very much for your time. Wish you all the success thank for you, you and also for your team, Barge. Thank you.